Welcome back everyone to my FIFA 21 career with Manchester United. We're going to get these two deals across the line before we continue with the Premier League season. Our next game is at home to Burnley. So we're going to bring in Palestri and also Traore, two signings that have ha actually happened in real life on transfer deadline day. And it looks like they want Fosu Mensa here. Uh, plus 500,000, but we're going to get rid of Fosu Mensa in this deal because I want to keep him. He's part of my first team plans, and we're going to offer them 4.5. I think that's fair enough. Maybe we're overpaying, but that's okay. We've got, what, 119 mil in the bank, so I'm not too fussed in there. One in 5.9, again, happy to pay it. Let's get it done. So we'll welcome Palestri and his... Agent, I'm not sure if I'm saying his name right. Is it Palestri? Palestri? I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll accept him as a prospect. Five years, definitely. We'll get that done. And they don't want a release clause. I'm happy with that, of course. We'll accept. Now, how much does he want a week? Now, I'm not sure what to do. Again, I might overpay slightly here, but we're going to offer 30000 we could probably get away with a bit lower than that, but let's see what they say. Yeah, that's a reasonable offer. So Palestri is now a Manchester United player. There he is with his number 28 shirt, which he's took in real life as well. He will now join up with his new teammates. And he'll be interested to get him into the side. Quite uh, an interesting, uh, an exciting prospect, really. There's not many Uruguayans that have... Come here at Old Trafford and been successful. One of those was definitely Diego Forlan, who made the Scousers cry. Let's hope we've got many more memories uh, to come. New memories, I should say, with this deal. We're bringing in Fakundu Palestri for 5.9 million. I believe he's quite a, an explosive type of player. Very pacey, something that we've kind of been lacking uh, lately at United. Yeah, we've had Dan James, but that's all that was going for him. Maybe... Uh, Palestri will bring a plethora of, of other sort of abilities. I hope so anyway. We'll have to wait and see. All right, we're going to bring in Traore then from Atalanta. From the Serie A outfit. Now, how much do they want? Is at the age of 18. So, we've got to be careful with this. Let's do 5 mil. I think that's a good figure to start at. And let's see what they say. Oh, they're happy. They're going straight. And we're probably, again, probably overpaid. But that's okay. I did delegate the wage offer just to speed things up a bit and they, he's gone ahead and accepted. He wants in here at Old Trafford and he's only going to be on 5,000 a week. So Palestri, Traore across the line. I think from my point of view for this window, yes, a very realistic window. Um, you know, we're basically copying what's happened in real life, bringing in Palestri, Traore and also Alex Tellers. But I've also added my my own little spin on it, bringing Upa Meccano in. But I think it's been a pretty successful window. We've got some of our targets that we wanted to bring in. Some of the targets that you guys have been, you know, saying in the comments. Bring in Palestri, bring in Traore, keep it realistic. So we've done that. I've added my own little spin as well by bringing in Upa Meccano, who's going to add a lot at the back, partnering alongside Harry Maguire, our captain. It's just a pity we couldn't get Jadon Sancho as well. So next we are playing against Burnley at Old Trafford. But our assistant manager has come to us here saying, I'm writing in regard to our upcoming match against Burnley. He has concerns that our current captain may be struggling in the role. It is set to De Gea at the moment because we took it off Maguire for our last game. It's match day four in the new Premier League season. We're back here at Old Trafford, set to take on Burnley. And it's the final game before the players go off for international break. So we want to get a win here, a convincing win if anything. Try to pick ourselves up as well after that disappointing collapse at Anfield against Liverpool, which saw our rivals walk away with that 4-1 win. So players to watch today, Marcus Rashford hasn't really found form just yet, but again, only four games into the new season. Still early days, but hopefully we can use today's game as a platform. So our starting lineup. Looks like this. David De Gea in goal. It's a back four of Wamba Saka, Lindelof, Maguire and Tellez. In midfield, it's Donny van der Beek, Bruno Fernandes and Paul Pogba. And up front, Mason Greenwood, Anthony Martial and Marcus Rashford. Come on then. 
Bruno Fernandes finds Anthony Martial. Got the run of Marcus Rashford there. He's got all the pace. Going to try and use it here. Cut back with Rashi. Still got the ball. Finds Martial. Bruno Fernandes does score, but it's going to be offside. It's offside for Bruno Fernandes. It's a very energetic start to the game here at Old Trafford, which I like to see. We need to pick ourselves up after that loss to Liverpool. We need to dust ourselves down and and really get Burnley here today. And Saka does well. Oh, it's a poor pass. Looking for Bruno Fernandes. So like Burnley maybe a chance on goal with this attack. Forcing a save from De Gea. It's whipped in. Martial can't really clear it. Everyone's standing still here. It's a tight angle at the near post. McNeil's in again for Burnley. They really should be a goal up by now. Marcus Rashford away down the line here on the left. Well, he's done really well. Bit of skill. Martial turns on it brilliantly for his favourite right. Couldn't get it away. Anthony Martial's in. Turns. Martial goes down in the box. But referee Kevin Friends says no penalty. Nothing given here. Well won there from Marcus Rashford. It's Paul Pogba in midfield. Finds Anthony Martial. Great run made by Van der Beek. And that's worked in our favour as it's allowed Anthony Martial in. Who gets the first goal of the game. And what a time to score. We've got about 11 minutes to go here at Old Trafford. What a time to take the lead. What a great goal. Well struck by the Frenchman. But it's all about that run from Donny van der Beek. As it just opened up Burnley's defence. Allowing the French hitman in. Jack Cork. With a bit of skill. You don't usually see that from Jack Cork. And that's a good effort on goal. Sean Dyche can't believe it. Well, it's all over here. It is a win for Manchester United. We've worked hard for the three points today. We didn't have enough shots on goal. We didn't control possession as I'd have liked. But a win is a win. That's the main thing. We are back on track. So let's have a look at the league table. So we move up to ninth and after what's been quite a poor start to the season. That's two games won, two games lost. We're on six points. We're six points behind joint leaders Leicester City and Chelsea. And it's funny to see that Liverpool, who beat us 4-1, I'm sure they took that little victory and made a DVD out of it, are below us by a point. So Paul Pogba coming to us here. Transfer deadline day is fastly approaching. It looks like he wants a new contract. He's happy here. He's happy with his recent form. What can we say? Let's look at that. Maybe at some point in the future. Let me think about it. What do we do with Paul Pogba? I think... I'd like to offer him a new contract, keep him in the team. I'd hate to be selling him now anyway with transfer deadline day about to happen. So we'll take a look at it at some point, whether it in just a moment or a bit later on this season. So 10 hours to go of the transfer window. Look at Arsenal selling Lacazette and Aubameyang to replace them with Jamie Vardy and uh, Moreno. What are they thinking? Well, anyway, let's crack on. So just an hour to go. We've done all the business that we've wanted to do. Can't really bring in anyone else. Let's have a look at the top deal. Savage going to Barcelona for 103.1 million. Koulibaly's gone to Real Madrid for 91.8. Koke going to Liverpool. We know about Koke at Liverpool as he scored against us in that Northwest derby, didn't he? And Carl Walker's gone to Bayern Munich. We've already seen that Aubameyang's at Real Madrid. Roman Oli at Man City. Thomas Partey, who in real life has joined Arsenal, has joined City here for 55.7 million. That's more than how much he's gone to Arsenal for in real life. There's our deal for Uber Meccano. He joins us from Leipzig for 50 million. Wijnaldum has left Liverpool for Atletico Madrid. Chelsea bringing in Umtiti from Barcelona, they just will not stop spending, will they? Zaha's gone to Leipzig. Gerard Piquet has left Barcelona for Tottenham. What are Barcelona thinking? They've let go Gerard Piquet and Umatiti, and it doesn't look like they've really replaced them. That should be interesting, especially if we have to face them at some point in the Champions League. 
All right, the transfer window is closed. We did receive an offer for Dallo from Porto uh, for 18.8 mil, but we're going to go ahead and reject that. We're going to keep him in the team now. We can't go any further because the transfer has uh, the transfer window has shut. So we've got a youth squad monthly report. This is definitely something I want to use a lot more in this career mode series. How is everyone getting on? Herman's not doing so well. Let's have a look at the David Beckham lookalike, Carlos Mercado. Just look at that agility. Already on 76 at the age of 17. His potential is between 79 and 94. What can we do with his development plan? This is something we haven't looked at just yet. Development plans, veteran players. Let's have a look. What can we change with Carlos Mercado to help him along his way? Uh, maybe fast track him into the starting lineup. Wide playmaker. What would be better here? Wide midfielder. He's a left midfielder. He's a left footer as well. What do we change him into? Wide midfielder. Maybe we'll try that out. ETA, four weeks. Let's see what happens. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I know just the one game today. More games will feature in future episodes. But for now, that's it. Thank you all for watching.